Hey, Better Editors, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna learn how to morph some faces. We're gonna do this face morph trick inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and launch that. Now, if this is the first time that you've opened DaVinci Resolve, don't be scared. This is a fantastic program. It is unbelievable that Blackmagic gives it away for free. I've included a link below in the description. And honestly, what we're using it for today is very simple and I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. So the first window that pops up shows you all of the available projects that you have to open. If this is your first time opening DaVinci Resolve, go ahead and just click on the untitled project and it'll open that. I'm gonna click on this face morph project. Okay, so once Resolve finally opens, this is gonna be the first page that you're presented with. This is our media page. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a bunch of icons and these are the different pages for DaVinci Resolve. This is the media page, the cut page, the edit page, the fusion page or graphics, the color page, the fairlight or audio page, and the deliver or export page. Now, before we do anything, let's look at what we're gonna make. So here is the quick and easy face morph that I promised you. Not too bad, right? There are a few caveats to this technique. And before we apply the technique, it's best to jump into Photoshop, edit the images a little bit so that they're lined up perfectly before we actually apply the effect. So for now, let's jump over to the media page. Now the media page is a lot like the media browser inside of Premiere Pro. But before we navigate to our footage, we need to come up to these three dots, click them and say show individual frames. What that does is make sure we can see all of the individual images instead of an image sequence. So navigate to your footage, grab your images, and drag them to the window below. And now if you want to create a bin, you can come down here, right click and say new bin. We'll say images, select our images and drag them in there. Great. Now we can swing over to our edit page and let's create a new timeline. Right click and say create new timeline. We'll call this face morph 03. Great. Okay, and let's open up our images bin and let's start with these two girls. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is that these images are almost identical in the way they're laid out. You see that? The eyes are going the same direction, the faces are tilted the right way, but what's different is the light on this girl's face is over on the left and the light on this girl's face is on the right. This is going to be a major problem in a minute. So let's apply our technique to do that Run up to the left side of your screen and click the effects library, come to your search icon and type smooth. And you'll see a smooth cut option. This is very similar to the morph cut inside of Premiere Pro, but it works immensely better. But still, you're gonna see some crazy stuff when we add this. The default transition is about a second and you'll see, whoa, that does not look pretty cool. That is not good, right? And it's because of the lighting. Resolve is attempting to make this a smooth cut, but there's too much of a difference going on between these faces that it can't do it. So that just goes to show that your images do have to be of a similar make. This would still be cool if you had the right images in the right circumstances. To show you what I mean, let's grab these guys and pull them into our timeline. You can see that the background is not the same, but it's similar enough that the effect still works. The other thing that's going on is this guy and this guy both have a very similar expression. Their eyes are very close to being in the same place as well as their nose. Before I brought this into DaVinci Resolve, I took these images into Photoshop to make sure that their main features were lined up. And to show you what I mean, I'm going to go and reduce the opacity on this so that we can see that the eyes are almost directly on top of each other and that the noses and the mouths are also directly on top of each other. This is gonna help sell our effect. Move this back. Now let's grab our smooth cut transition and I'm gonna make it kind of big. I'm gonna make this thing, I don't know, five seconds, great. And then I'm gonna come up to our inspector window. If you don't have it open, just click this, it'll pop open and turn on the ease to in and out. And now if we look at this, that's it. The effect is done. Pretty easy, right? Now we can go a step further and smooth it out to make it look better. To do that, you'll see that over in this corner, things don't look quite correct. So what I wanna do is fix these edges of the frame so that they blend a little bit better. 
So I'm going to duplicate this layer, alt drag and pull up, delete this, and I'm going to add a short transition, about a second in between. Great. What did that do for us? Well, if we jump over to our color tab, we're going to mask out this top layer. So to do that, make sure that your clip is on video layer two, and then come over to your mask tab. And in here, click the square to create a quick mask. And then we're just going to drag this to the top of the screen, to the edge of the screen, and the bottom, which is where the problem area is. Go there. And I'm going to increase my feather a little bit. Boom. Done. That easy. That's all we have to do with that. Now, you'll notice that this isn't showing that we have a mask. And that's because, one, we've got to invert it. Great, looks good over here, but still we don't see the same thing on our icon. To fix that, right click over here, say add alpha output, then click this blue square and drag it to that blue circle. And now you'll see that we have a black square here. Next thing is we need to copy this to our first clip on video layer two. So under V2, I'm gonna click this clip and then using my middle mouse button, I'm going to click the clip we just applied that effect to. Boom, we're done. Now jump back over to your edit tab and let's drag through this real quick. Not too bad. And for the amount of work that we put into that, it is magical how well that looks. So to get this out of Resolve, what we need to do is jump over to the deliver page. And in here you can click any of these presets. Simplest one to do would be to jump on Vimeo 1080, name the file, send it to a location, and we'll say browse exports, face morph, say save, add to render queue, and start render. When the video's done, you can pull it up, and you're good to go. So that's it. If you enjoyed that, I hope you'll subscribe, and please check out the links in the description below. And if you want to practice this technique on your own, feel free to download these images as well. See you next time. <laughs>